Well, good morning. I went to the sale Saturday and sold some jewelry. But look what I ran across. And I bought them. <coughs> These uh, old antique bottles. I put the corks in them. Like that. Uh, they were poison bottles. I like, had like strychnine and and stuff like that. Uh, uh, arsenic. But I bought them. Uh, and they, they're like impression glass. I bought this one here. I washed them out good. This one here is hand blown. See the bottom? I put little corks in them. I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet. And then I bought me a blue bottle. And it's not painted, it's actually blue glass. I washed them out good, sterilizing. Uh, I'm a little charred. Uh, I did uh, sold a bunch of jewelry, odds and ends stuff. Uh, I also made a inventory of what I got here at the house. Uh, if you want me to show us, you need to make a comment and tell me I want to see it. So I ain't going to show it. Uh, but like I said, I'm just doing odds and ends stuff. That's what I'm doing. Uh, uh, today's Monday. Uh, had a good Easter. Ooh, I went to the sale Saturday. <clears throat> but like I said, other than that, I ain't doing much or nothing. Got the dogs out on the front porch this morning. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm just sitting here to thought I, I'd make a video and put it up. Yeah, I had some nice pieces. Oh. I showed the inventory I got here at the house. I put that back up. I don't know what I'm going to use the little bottles for. Hmm. But they were real old, and that's what I wanted them. They were not broke, and they're not chipped. Now, they're stained up with age. And the poison that was in them, I got to scrub the outside good. But it stained them up pretty good, see there. Age did a lot of it. Uh, but they had a bunch of them, but I didn't want the big ones. I just wanted the little bitty ones. Uh, and... Uh, I put them down there, right here. I always put a rubber cork in them because I don't want nothing crawling down in them. Uh, but like I said, uh, today I'm going to get around and cook me some oatmeal. That's what I usually eat for breakfast. Uh, but if you, I, I've got some videos on uh, my jewelry. If you want to see them, you tell me in the comments. Uh, I get about three people who want to see them. I'll show them up. Ooh, my back hurts. I had to load all them boxes back up. Uh, I left all that jewelry in the in the old ramblets. Um, now the house jewelry is what I showed you. That's my jewelry that I'm gonna keep in. Uh, some real nice pieces. I bought uh, the other day. I bought. Uh, White turquoise, it's not buffalo turquoise, it's actually real turquoise. Uh, it ain't hamalite or whatever they call it. And then I bought a necklace that had white turquoise, purple turquoise, and red turquoise in it. And then I redid it in silver. It had some crystals in it, and I took all them out. I like silver. And I got it restrung. I've been ordered more wax. Uh, and then let's see what else we did. I ordered a bunch of these corks. Uh, uh, these are number twos that fits wine bottles. And then these are just a mixture of, uh, of corks from big to little.
but I got enough corks here now for a while. Uh, I usually take my uh, when I put something in this bottle, this one here, I'll put a rubber cork in it. I like them better than the old uh, cork corks. And then I'll dip it in wax, paraffin, wax. And then that'll be good for 75, 80 years. Depends on what you put in it. Because it'll seal it off from the elements. You can put olive oil in them. You can do uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Put them in these bottles. I like the darker bottles, the blue and the browns. Uh, and the dark greens. Because uh, they'll store a bunch of stuff in it. I need to open this up because it's got moisture in it. Yeah, because I can see it through the light. Let that all evaporate out. Uh, uh, but like I said, I've been putting stuff up, canning. I need to make some pinto, be uh, some uh, navy beans, and some ham today in the pressure cooker. I got fifty pounds of rice. I got to put up. Uh, uh, but I'll paraffin, what they call them, Marlo bags. Uh, I'm waiting for my ice machine. I did I finally order me an ice machine. Instead of going and getting the one out of the RV, I just ordered me another one. A small one, just for the house. It make that. But <clears throat> people need to start putting stuff up. I can't preach that enough. Uh, uh, I bought me a bunch more lids, uh, ball lids, I've got 200 of them now, I gotta order some wide mouths. Uh, I'll order some more of them, I'll order about 200 of them. Of course, I've got other, I've got other, other ones I bought at Walmart, but it's cheaper to order them online, in bulk. Uh, got plenty of jars. Uh, I just need to start cooking again. I have to go to the doctor tomorrow. Check on my diabetes. I quit making jellies and jams because I, I like the taste of them. So it raises my blood sugar, so I ain't doing that no more. Uh, I need to order a bunch more rings. Uh, I need to order about 50, 75 of them, wide mouth and the regular. But I need, I started, uh, decided I would start <coughs> making some more medicine, herbal medicines. Yeah, let's see. Ooh. I don't know what I want to do with these little bottles. I thought they'd be this cute just put on the shelf. Ooh. I need to take the lids out of them and, and let them breathe so they'll dry out. that right now. I'm just thinking that I just try to find corks for them. <sighs> oh, well, it's going to be a busy day today. I got things I've got to do, things I want to do. I got to make sure my apple vinegar and stuff's over here. I'm going to stir it. My banana vinegar is about ready to come off. This wine will be ready the third, and which is tomorrow, day after tomorrow. I need to put it up, pour it up. It's quit bubbling there, really. So it's ready to come off. Smells good. <laughs> you can pull the corks on them and smell the... Ooh, you can smell the wine in it. Or the, the alcohol, actually. 
and I've got a bunch of wine bottles bought. I'll do them. I smell the end of the corks, and you can smell it and see how strong they are. Ah. Ooh, that smells sweet. That great one does. The strongest one here is the uh, mixed. The grape, apple, and uh, cranberry. Uh, but like I said, I've got things I gotta do today. <laughs> like my days never end. Uh, I, I run across some good people at the thrift uh, at the sale. Uh, they was one woman said she's gonna start canning. Never had done it before, and I said, "You need to get on YouTube. They got some depends on what you." I said I'd start off with jellies and jams. Uh, because they're the easiest ones to do and less to make, mess up. Total Chicken Water bath them without buying a great big high dollar canner. And I said, they're not hard. You can buy fruit juice. I said, that's what I make my wine out of and a lot of my jellies out of. Or you can go to the frozen frozen food or you can use the uh, regular fresh stuff. But I said, just buy some Welch's grape juice and start off with making Great jelly would be about the easiest one to do. But that's it. I'm just a little tired and thought I'd put this video up. I need to get in here in my overflow room. This is what this is. This is my overflow. The other ones are filled up with food. Uh, and this in here is getting to be filled up with food. Uh, my granddaughter said, You'll never eat all that, Paul. I said, no, but you guys might after I'm dead and gone. <laughs> Some of this dehydrated food will last for years and years. I got to do a lot more apples. I made some, um, last year, I'm going to do it this year too, when the watermelons come off and I can get them for 2 or $3 piece when season goes out. I'm going to make some apple, uh, uh, some watermelon wine because uh, I got two or three people that's wanting me to make them some watermelon wine and uh, I want to make some watermelon uh, leather or, or what they call fruit roll-ups is what I call it uh, my grandbabies like that and I'm gonna make some uh, watermelon rind uh, preserves uh, I do a lot with the watermelon I should be out foraging right now for red bud blooms making some red bud jelly. But like I said, you can't do it all at my old age. And the kids don't want, they like to eat it. They, don't want, they ain't got the patience to start doing it. I got one of them that does. She done a little bit of pickling. Well, that's something else you can do. It don't need to require a big canner, it's pickling. I uh, water bath my pickling just to seal the jar up. But you you don't have you know, there's a lot of things you don't have to do. Uh I'm gonna let you go because I can talk all morning. I've got some stuff I've got to get out. I gotta start putting this rice up in glass jars. I've got a bunch of it. Uh, that's for the fifty fifty year mark. Uh they're in good plastic bags right now. But uh, I think we're in 15 pound bags. I bought two or three different kinds. Uh, but like I said, I bought just plain white rice. I like it pretty good. Uh, medium grain rice and uh, special selection rice. Uh, and I didn't pay much for them. I paid $6, I think, or so a bag for 15 pounds. That ain't bad. <laughs> Uh, I've got plenty of rice put up. I probably got three or four hundred pounds of it put up. Rice goes good with everything. That's another thing. I gotta get in the freezer and start uh, uh, putting up some ham and some turkey and some other stuff. Start clearing out my freezers, getting ready for the spring. And stuff I can buy on sale, freezing it up till I can get to it. I gotta dehydrate a bunch of stuff. Should make a bunch of jerky. 
Yeah, I could do that. Get my, I've got a slice of sliced meat real thin, and I could put that up. Start making me some jerky out of back strap. I gotta go. I got things I got to do. But you guys had a. I hope you had a nice Easter.